Hello and welcome to the first of these Photoshop CS4 videos. Do please remember that, as you can see, this is captured on an Apple Macintosh running Adobe CS4. The program window, whilst looking slightly different, um, has no effect on menu commands, so everything that I do here should be or will be easily transferable to a classroom computer or if you've got CS4 at home running on a Windows based machine should be the same. What we're going to look at in this video is rotation so if I open an image and I'm going to click in the clear white area and type ROT and that takes me straight to rotate 1 if I open that image and you can see on the screen immediately that this image is leaning off to an angle that's pretty much the wrong way around. Something to be aware of we talked about this in the first session is the rotate view tool remember the rotate view tool allows you to rotate in it on the screen but it doesn't apply that change to the image itself. It is merely so that you can see what the image looks like rotated around. You can note the rotation angle so if you find something that you think looks perfect you can make an arbitrary rotation which we'll deal with in another video. So if I reset my view to rotate an image through 90 degrees either clockwise or counterclockwise all we have to do is select image image rotation 90 CW or CCW in this instance the building has to go clockwise so if I click on that and there's the rotated image relatively simple do remember that as soon as you rotate an image it will probably extend beyond the boundary of the screen so we can make it um, full screen by selecting view fit on screen or control or command zero. Remember for a Windows machine it will be con control and a second button for a shortcut key. For an Apple Macintosh it will be command. So that makes it fit. If we go through that process again, so fire and open. We'll go for rotate two this time. And again, as I was saying in class, automatically or by default only one window is open and both images or any images that you've got open are available within that window tabs. So again this image needs to go 90 degrees clockwise so it's image, image rotation 90 CW. I'll just make it fit. Like I say arbitrary will be looked at in a different video but we've also got the option of 180 degrees through image image rotation and that will spin the image to 180 degrees. We can also flip the canvas horizontally which will just um, twist the image along the horizontal axis and we can flip it vertically which again just twists the image through the vertical axis. Once you're happy with the image, we can save it, which is File and Save, or Save As. Remember, if you File and Save, you'll overwrite the original image. If you Save As, you're given the opportunity to rename the document or save it in a different place. This can be quite important because if you're working with the only copy of an image, then it might always be a good idea to have that saved as a safety and then work on duplicate images. So if you save it as a different file name in a different location, you know that you've always got that original image as a backup. I'm not going to save in this instance. If I cancel that. And that's rotation. It is relatively simple. All we have to do is open the image, select image, image rotation, and then choose the 
option that we require.